is going to be the option for mid. If it does end up with mid TF, Talia can kind of follow. Obviously not as fast as the TF can roam, though. Ooh. Keen played this. Did not do great. Didn't matter at all. Got targeted out by the enemy. Was completely irrelevant to the game. Because good luck on that one. Not a fun matchup to play whatsoever. And this is really interesting. Chovy, although we do know how good he is on the Aria, also opting to pick it into, again, the Talia I'm okay with. We've, we've talked a lot about the fact that you have so much mobility on Aria that you can kind of circumvent the way that Talia plays the game. As Canyon is going to be able to steal this away early on. Oh, I don't know. Owner will definitely know. They are going to run into one another now. Yeah. He is Rel and could potentially try to fight for this one, but he is in the enemy jungle. So pretty dangerous. And Owner's just chasing him down. He's just saying, no, I, I will win this fight. And he will. <laughs> in Eventually. a very long lane, quote unquote, that is the jungle. <laughs> yeah, Canyon's going to be like, hmm, this is weird. Uh, to find you here at level 2 after taking my jungle away. He doesn't have top prio, though. He might be having early skirmish. Trophy's on his way. Spike comes in, but a double knockup now on a, both of the T1 members. Double stun as well as the cleanse is utilized by Zeus to get away. But still a win here for the side of Gen Z in the 2v2 as Flash, a handshake, is going to miss. As Guma just uh, dashes away from that one. Cleanse utilized here from Paze. They're trying to get on top of this Nami, but Paze getting pretty low. Still going in on this one as the bailout is available, and he will get it as First Blood goes to Paze, and he's looking for a bit more as the double hit from the Lucian is enough to take it out, and Guma just barely... Oh, oh no, he dashes back in, and Lehenz is going to pick up the kill. He's able to pick up most of this wave. As we take another looker, this is why Renata or Kalista, one of the two generally always gets banned away. Because you can see here as well the confidence. Great cleanses here from either side. And Pace's health bar is but an illusion. It's not real. He knows that he will get plenty of extra time. Has the spear stacked. And then this is where I'm like, <laughs> you can also just back off. And they thought that with Lanza's oh. handshake, they would actually have it. And Guma's <laughs> dash in there is also because they're oh, or Lanza's oh, yeah. tank in the entire oh, wave. The the... Uh, but that doesn't really excuse the fact that... Owner is waiting for a bit of a gank. All summoners down in the bottom side. This is going to be pretty rough for Paze, but do they have the chasing power? Nice bubble here on a Paze, but again... I mean, after all that, she'll be able to just cleanse a gold card and then hop away. I don't imagine this should have much success. As Chobi's going to get caught in the river, has to dash away from this one. Does go back into Owner, trying to bait this fight out. As Owner will take a massive amount of damage to True Shot as well. But Zeus is going to win the 1v1 in the top lane. So now, T1 looking to continue on this one. Zeus is going to hop away. And now Canyon in a really rough spot. Has to flash, but doesn't have any follow-up in terms of damage. He's going to go down as well. That's a very nice charm here from Chobi, trying to buy himself some time. Seismic Shove is going to be critical here from Baker as he's just going to get the flash out of Chovy. A big win for T1 in the trade on the top side of the map. Go for a big hostile takeover, a handshake, you know, stuff like that. Chovy is going to be forced to Spirit Rush away here. Just trying to be aggressive in the enemy jungle. Now trying to put down some damage. Now we have this trade down in the bottom side. Big. Looks like Genji still wants to look for a contest. Faker's a little bit low on mana, but outside of that, he's going to get a ton of bill out value here if they want to win. Oh, Lehenz, he is going to dodge that bubble, and now the engage comes in with the Magnet Storm, but they're so low on the side of Gen Z. Owner, though, is being chipped away. The uh, Fate's goal is going to get that kill onto Owner here, as now Faker's getting pretty low himself, but Canyon went so deep for that play, as eventually Faker will be taken out. Jovi still no ultimate ability, so he will go down as well. Zeus makes his way down, and that should be T1's dragon to take. Kind of out there. Don't think that I've seen this yet. Lethality, like, it's mostly just early Dirk, and then you go towards the normal Callista items. When you don't want to play Varus, I guess just do this. But Guma gets in with the culling. He is going to kind of miss it as they go into the river. Here comes Jovi. They have a Rel behind them as well. Charm could be huge if he hits it. There it is. On to Owner. He's in a lot of trouble, but the stun for the Rel is going to miss. It will not matter as Pace takes him down in the 4v3. That was set up nicely here from Gen G. Getting in once again with that one against the flash out of Guma. And, and by their respective knights, as we might have a fight for Harold here, Valdez. 
Yeah, kind of an interesting one. Zaves did pick up his first item, so maybe just trying to utilize the Tristana value, but the Cleanse forced out already. And a knock away from Owner, but the timing is totally off. I mean, look at this. Now, Jovi can re-engage. They get the flash at Akeem, but total control of the river right now does go towards Gen G, and Jovi is not done with this yet. Rocks on cooldown at the moment for Faker, so Jovi just gets to dash around and have some fun. And yeah, that's easily going to go into the hands of Gen G. Going to be feeling great for Gen G because they did actually get the Herald. No. No. <laughs> Nah, that, surely that was on purpose, not right? Like this canyon. Canyon! Yeah, that's uh that was not on purpose, chat. We know. Oh, there's a wall coming out here as Faker trying to make a play. He wants to make a difference in this game. And he's just gonna sling some rocks at Lahens! No! He gets away! Callista is Ferris, but with a utility ult. We're gonna make it work! Uh, Ghostblade now done as well, and outside of Poppy, there isn't a lot of tankiness as Canyon might look for a steal. Now let's see if he can get it. Yes, he He's can! Well. It's Rel! That's how many times do we have to see this? Karia also isolated free kill for him. Zeus, meanwhile, he has a similar role, I suppose. Handshake, oh boy. Karia just caught out here once again. Guma just gonna put some damage in. Well, Hens, relatively tanky yeah. with this itemization, so... And yeah. TF and Ari is gonna be feeling really good as the wall. Yeah, they're just trying to open up this mid lane and look for a play out of the turret. That's a knockup on the canyon. The max range seismic shove as the bailout doesn't do anything. It's a kill for Zeus. And in fact, Keen did get a turret on the bot side of a map. So now Chovy coming on in. Using the end of his spirit rush just to push them away. Double AD carry is going to do a nice amount of damage to this, but it's just so early. I mean, this is very risky from the side of T1. It is very T1-esque, but Genji not to be failed. And as you mentioned, the Destiny spots them all and makes this very easy. You can't back there. Um, okay, they're just gonna fight it, I guess. Fate's Call utilized. The Tidal Wave does get a lot of value in this jungle. And it is a 4v5 here for Genji. Flash forward as, ooh, gets stunned on the rocks at least, but Jovi will avoid his death. Got some fights in live. It is Canyon in a lot of trouble once again. Has to flash the wall. Nice little pick from the side of 2 one but flash forward here, no cleanse, on to Guma, he is in so much trouble, and down he goes! Pace gonna get that one, Keen nearly takes, or Zeus rather, nearly takes out Canyon, but Jovi gonna win the 1v1 here against Baker, and Zeus is so far behind enemy lines, T1 so broken up in this fight, and immediately Gen G gonna capitalize on that one, a triple kill for Pace. Four are about to just 2-0 T1, and Gen G winning, Shouldn't be a surprise, given how good this team is domestically, but in this fashion, I am a bit baffled, Feldes. Yeah, I mean, it's a new year, a new roster. They look stronger than ever, and T1 have not matched them at all today. Was thinking that maybe in this early to mid game, we had a bit of a challenge. Nice three-man knockback here as Lahens and Keen are in a bit of trouble. Kind of minutes going to help block some of that culling. Uh, a bunch of CS and a TF. Going to be feeling quite good. <laughs> Can you? He's... This time, there's just not enough damage. Don't think they should, as the gold will equalize eventually. The shredding of resistances might be oh, on oh, no. He's just going to try to run through this one. He does have to utilize his flash. But yeah, now a wall comes down here. That's, uh, yeah, Baker's just probably dead here in a ton of trouble. He will flash and immediately dies. Looking for an opportunistic angle, but it's actually Jovi who has found the angles so much more often in this game. Genji get the pick. Jovi charms, man. Second time he charms Faker off the wall that I have noticed in this game. That's, well, when we're saying stuff like that, Valvis, you know that the game state is not looking too oh, hot. Oh, and there's another kill in live. It looks like Owner is just dead on the wall in a straight line, but the timing of it is just immaculate. And I think, you know, Chronicler, you were just a little bit ahead of your time with your Chovy vote in game one. Anything short of a miracle was uh, not going to keep them in this game. QSS bot for Keen. Yeah, Guma. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Dead. You can vote for me in game two. We've had a lot of games go very long in this meta it might nowadays, be. and it might be two games under 30 minutes. Oh, Isn't we're it expecting like this more. Series is gonna, and it is amazing. I'm a Gen G predictor. Yeah, I'm sure you're feeling great. But, but um, this is. Whew. All right, Chubby. Oh, the charm again! And yeah, he'll cleanse it, but he barely gets away with his life. Yeah, I, I think that's. Genji should just be applauded for coming in here against a, a really strong opponent and making them look a bit silly today. And Jovi 
It almost looks like he took it personally as the max range. This is what I was talking about with the TF. You just have so much great target acquisition. And you layer one gold card with a charm with anything, and somebody's going to die. There it is. The Relling Gates comes in, and Gen G, they want to end this game, and they want to end it now. The two Nexus turrets are going to go down as Gen G will absolutely clobber T1 in a 2 to 0 victory tonight. They're playing with their food, just as we've seen Gen G and T1 do many a time, but tonight it is all Gen G all the way as they take them down in a 2 0. Yeah, I mean, what else can you say? The results speak for themselves. It's round one to zero. Of an impact, as well. but he does. And I just, I think back to the, the, the uh, Ari build that we used to have, where you had the Everfrost. It was the vegan build, right? Yeah. In the, the theory, yeah. Well, you we have benches in this game as well. Is. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel a lack of damage and, and up utility. I feel like he just got both. It helps that uh, he was level 18 while Faker was level 15 at the end of the game. <laughs> Uh, he was just so far ahead of everybody, to be honest. And uh, you can see, they're, they're just saying they want to go for more kills. Uh, very happy, big smiles on everybody's faces. Genji was also all smiles, all joking and laughing before the series as well, which is not always what you see.